Right, hello everyone. And today on this elevator parts video, we're going to be working on this Montgomery square button elevator fixture. So these are the uh, older Montgomery square fixtures that are found on the older Montgomery elevators. Some people like to call these Montgomery GMP fixtures, which that's not really a real term. It's not a real term at all. They're just square buttons. So this particular fixture has a lot of wear on the button, especially this up button here. I guess it could be the down button either way, but one of these buttons has a lot of wear on it. You can kind of see the arrow has worn off a bit there and the down button works as well. The plate has a lot of tape and dirt on it, which we can fix that. There appears to be a lot of scratches and wear, or at least around this button and just kind of throughout the whole panel. So turning it to the back, we can see how these buttons work. So we've got this little piece here, which is actually what lights up. And then there's this little disc right here, which this one's actually broken. We're gonna have to fix this button. But there's this little disc right here, which pushes up against these two little metal things, which complete the circuit. And both sides have that. As for lighting up the buttons, you'll notice the lamp sockets on the side here, and it lights up the little button from the side. And it's just clipped on here with this little socket, the little clip. So the first step, we're going to remove all of the wires and we're gonna take this button apart and see if we can fix it up a little bit. Maybe put a new spring in there and make this button work again. So I went ahead and pulled the broken button off so we can take a closer look at how it works. So we've got the little metal bracket here around the whole button. And this is where the little lamp clips on. So we'll go ahead and remove that. And then we've got this plastic bit right here which screws down onto the metal piece. And when you press the button up, it pushes this disc into these little metal pieces, which you can see here uh, is very broken. So I'm gonna take this whole thing apart and clean it up because I want to shine up this disc and then try to fix the little spring that's underneath here. We, you can see it just doesn't even work anymore. Generally clean this button up and I'm gonna do that with the other one as well. Alright, so you can see here we have successfully rebuilt the first button and it works great again. So another thing we're going to have to do is light it up. Now these bulbs here are completely burned out and these are 120 volt bulbs. So what we're going to use instead, we're going to place one of these little CJ Anderson lamp sockets on the side and put a 9 volt incandescent bulb in the side here and we can use that to light up these fixtures. So now I've completely cleaned up this first button, what I'm going to do is do it again on the second button. Okay, I finished both of the buttons. You can see here, I cleaned up the contacts on all of them and put the new lamp socket in, or we'll put the bulb in later when we go to wire this. And before we put the buttons back on though, we need to work on the plates because the plate is very crusty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of work on this and shine it up. Okay, so you can see here the plate is nice and shiny and nice and finished. So next I'm going to put the buttons back onto the panel and get started with wiring. So that was wiring up these Montgomery square buttons. You see here, when you push them, they light up. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you maybe learned something from it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.